So I've returned to put in the rubber mounts and uh, speed controller. I'll link in the description to my other video talking about uh, this particular unit when we initially um, checked it and found out what was wrong. But this speed controller is a lot higher quality than the one that was in there before. Um, and I did order this stuff directly from Captive Air. So I don't know, they changed up some stuff. But this has a really robust heat sink made in Taiwan. It just feels very good quality overall. So I don't know if it actually is, but it kind of seems that way. So we're going to put that in. Uh, same as the other one was wired up. I'll we'll put these on. These are kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it does kind of look like they also upgraded the style of these to be a little bit larger footprint, which uh, is a plus. So I got the motor pulled out, and uh, in order to do that, just loosen the set screws, loosen the two nuts, and then loosen the two set screws in that order. And then once you get up into here, you can pull the motor. And they have these weird, this strange shaft layout with the angled cuts like that. We can see these uh, motor bolts actually helped keep the motor from escaping. See how close to cut off this is? There's like hardly anything holding it. This one got cut off all the way after these rubber mounts broke. But the way these rubber mounts are made, it's just a Phillips screw attached to rubber and another Phillips screw. So it doesn't seem super robust. We're going to clean this flange out as well, or the end of the motor so that it can breathe better. And then we'll get the new ones installed. It's kind of tricky to reach underneath here and get at this nut on the back side there. But I should be able to. It's kind of messy too. Got it all cleaned out. Just a lot of junk in there as usual. Here's the upgraded mounts that he sent. I don't know if that's the part number or what. Um, I'll try to link in the description to these because this is what was in there and this is the replacement that Captive Air told me to order. So it looks like they've upgraded the size of those. So maybe these ones are better. Let's, uh, let's hope that that's the case. So these nuts are 3 eighths. They're very coated in sticky grease. Whenever I get the wrench on there. If I can. You can see I got one done already. It just takes a little while to get the screw out. But you just gotta spin it off the back and then spin the new Thing on. Once I get the fastener off, I like to just leave the nut in the wrench, hold it in place there, and then come in with the new mount and just spin it in. And get it good and tight on there. starting to rain. Better hurry. Once you're ready to drop the motor in, I like to mark where the set screws are so I know which way to position the wedge portion of the shaft so that a set screw ends up on both of these flats. Because sometimes it be can be kind of annoying to line them up. So here we go, start it up. Turn the power on. Off is all the way past high, so once I turn it should come on in high. <laughs> junk out. And then we're going to turn it to about halfway. That's low. Right about there I think is where we're going to leave it. That's I think about where the other one was set. So nicer upgraded speed controller and better mounts. So I do like to see that it appears that they're improving their product as they find flaws in it, so good job Captive Air, do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that should be it for this job. So hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later.